Oh, that's great. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's not as hot. Yeah, no, it's perfect. But I think it'll be okay. That's perfect. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Yep. I think it's gonna be wonderful. Hey, hey, everybody. Amy, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. We are ready to share our wonderful news with everybody. We are all packed up. We have stairs. <laughs> we have harness and toys and beds and food and meds. Adoption in the house. You coming outside? Okay. Okay. Hey, hey. Sorry, we're a little late. Been talking, been chatting. But as you know, we told you we were going to be doing an adoption announcement. And we have wonderful news to share. Carol's here. We have Carrie and we have Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hello. And Keith. Say hi, Shell. Hi, Carol. Hi. And we have our baby, baby, baby girl, Misty. <laughs> Misty Misty Moo is going home with her new mommy, Carrie. Uh, guys, this is absolutely beyond heart bursting, as you all know. I'm going to turn this down. Got a little Christmas music going on. She immediately jumped up on the couch and hasn't left her side. You're kidding. No, has not, like, melted into her hands. Oh. Carrie is a repeat adopter. She adopted our senior dog, um, Caesar, who she loved and adored, and he was a, he was not well. He was old. He had a lot of medical. Um, she loved him to the last day, and she reached out to me when she saw Misty. Right, Carrie? Yep. Carrie and I have been going back and forth, back and forth, and we were waiting on the pathology and to see what was actually going on. I told Carrie, listen, you know, she's got to go through the space. She's got to go through her dental. Um, and then we found out after she was diagnosed with pneumonia in the 24-hour animal hospital. Um, then we took her to Access where they did a sample because we felt a little nodule tumor in her neck area. Um, and we put on hold her mammary tumor removal and her spay and her uh, dental because we wanted to make sure that her lungs were cleared. When we did this, we found out... Um, it came back inconclusive, so then we went back again for a second sample. Thank you, Daddy Keith, for taking her. Um, and sadly found out that it was cancer. Uh, then we just came from the cancer animal cancer hospital that Shelly and I drove her to this past week, and it was confirmed. The good news is, the great news is that it's a very rare cancer, and it's a very not aggressive. It's a non-aggressive cancer. Um, the specialist said, listen, she could live two, three, four years. They estimated her to be closer to 10. And we're going to take every second of every day. When I had told Carrie that I wasn't sure, and I said, listen, I want you to, you know, don't answer me now. Think it through. You let me know what you decide. If you don't want to take it on, I respect you. I still love you. Um, but if you do, wonderful. It would be amazing because... We want nothing more than for Misty to be in her very own home, be loved and adored and spoiled with her own mom, dad, family, and that's exactly what she got. Um, Carrie, congratulations, because Carrie's getting ready to, to retire. So she's got a couple more weeks left and Misty can go to work with her. Um, she's gonna be retiring, so she has all the time in the world to just love and spoil um, little Misty. Misty has been an absolute dream since the second we took her into our rescue. An angel. an angel. A pure, perfect angel. With everything this dog has endured, I know you're looking at the most adorable, groomed <laughs> Shih Tzu. When we picked her up from the Broward shelter, she was completely, completely neglected. Fleas, matted beyond words, couldn't see her face, couldn't see her body, couldn't feel her body. Um, she was definitely being living, living outside, being used for breeding over and over again, probably for profit. And 
all of that is now behind her. So moving forward, looking forward, Misty has nothing but wonderful, positive, beautiful things to look forward to. And I have to say, Carrie, you are such a beautiful human being with the most beautiful heart. And it is truly, I have the goosebumps all over my whole body. You, it is truly people like yourself that restore our faith in humanity because everybody saw all the love that Misty got. Yeah. Um, I did have one other person that reached out to me and prior. And as soon as I told her that it was cancer, she said, I wish you all the best. You know, it takes a very special person. We are those people. We are those people because these are the ones that we want to rescue. They need us the most. Mm -hmm. um, it is not cheap rescuing these dogs. And I did make a promise to Carrie moving forward. I didn't want to put the burden uh, financially. So we are setting her up with an oncologist closer to her in Port Charlotte. Um, she has her own beautiful home with mommy. She's going to sleep in bed. She has her own beautiful fenced yard. It is perfect for her. Um, all I can say is thank you. And you're going to keep me posted and stay in touch. We're going to stay in touch every step of the way. We're going to cover whatever medical she needs moving forward for her appointments or treatment or whatever. My commitment, our commitment to you from 100 plus, I just want you to love her and spoil her for every second of the day that she has on this earth. And that's all any of us can ask for, truthfully. So... Is, is this not beautiful? Is this not so perfect? And I want to say thank you to Sandra Schock, um, a very dear friend of ours and adopted, took in our Miss Butterfly, little Yorkie that passed, a senior. This is what she does for a living. She makes these beautiful dress harnesses by hand and sews on. It is so cute, and it's actually a little harness. And I pulled it out this morning. I felt like dress up day. Um, and I put it on her and it fit her like it was made for her. <laughs> she's very proud and she's very proud of herself with this little harness on her. This is a dream come true. I hope all of your hearts are as happy as ours watching this video. And I don't know what is better in rescue than this right here. This is why we do what we do. This is why we continue to ask for your love and ongoing support because without it, none of this is possible. Now for the really, 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 really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Guys, I need three eye kisses for this. Yeah, we need lots of... Every time we get a baby adopted, we always do the eye kisses. So we wish them well, which my wife Carol started. Um, I won't go into the story on how it started, Carol. She always gets mad at me when I tell. But, um, so they never, ever, ever, ever. It's a nice story. It is a nice story. All right, I'll tell it. Carol was in the bathroom, and she was staring at our dog, Diamond, who was a 100-plus rescue, severe cruelty case. She looked down at her, at her eyes, and she looked, would you kiss her eyes, and you said, may you never, ever, ever see. Ever again. And we said, we're going to start doing that with every dog that gets adopted. She was a pleasure to have <laughs> Daddy Keith said, how many times today? I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'm going in, too. I love you so much, Misty. I love you so much, so much. This is the best, the best. You're getting the best, baby girl, the best. And, guys, let me just tell you, please don't be afraid to open up your home and heart to a dog that's middle-aged or older or even a sick dog because truthfully you're all here on borrowed time none of us are guaranteed today tomorrow and honestly there's so many babies in need be part of the solution it's not about us it's not about us it's about them it's about them look at this right here is this not a picture right here is this not perfection you guys kind of look alike yeah. <laughs> no, you're famous, Carrie. This is a great keepsake. You can go back, I know, because Carrie follows us. So you'll have this forever. It's beautiful. Everybody's sending you so much love and so much respect. So next we're going to get, um, look at the proud parents over here. Isn't it? Look at this. It's a match made in heaven from the second Carrie walked in this house. 
she jumped up on the couch yeah. and in her arms so melted her that's it it's meant to yes. be thank you god for all your blessings because i don't believe in coincidences i think we are sent what is meant to be and right there is exactly what was meant to be it's perfection this is one of our two to three adoptions in the next two days tomorrow and monday so we have so much to look forward to so much to be grateful for and nothing but the best wishes to you so much love and respect for you so we're gonna thank you carrie and thank you for coming along for the ride michelle's gonna be driving back the other driver so mommy carrie can cuddle and hold you got a lot of dead bugs on that car Ooh. birds bird poop bird poop it's nothing better right nothing better babe happy adoption day to our sweet divine yes pauline divine divine intervention you said it my friend we love you too i can't non-stop no she loves you carrie it's not your lunch trust me i think she knows she knows she knows you're her mama look at how she's holding you she's holding her that's mama my heart is so happy so happy happy mama. adoption day misty is home with her new mommy carrie mama. guys enjoy the rest of your day we'll be doing more videos coming your way another adoption tomorrow and hopefully another one on monday so stay with us enjoy be safe nothing but love and respect happy life misty moo 100 plus abandoned dogs everglades florida another dream come true